Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about a foot mask or foot peel that was sent to me by a company called Grace and Stella. So this is going to be a demonstration and review in one and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about my experience with it and how it worked for me. I also was sent an extra one because my mom happens to have problems with dry feet and me personally, like my feet don't really get that bad because I, I take good care of them. So I, I kind of wanted them to send me one for my mom just because I thought it would be a better like before and after with her since she did actually have some dryness to her feet. So I'm going to insert a picture of my feet right now, the before and after, and it's not that much of a difference, but it is something like I did happen to have a little bit of dryness on the ball of my left foot and it did get rid of that um, which was great because it wasn't really like responding to the usual foot file that I would use and other than that like it just overall made my feet a lot smoother kind of felt like you know baby feet um, and now I will insert a picture of my mom's feet and hers were worse like she had a lot of dryness on her heels and as you can see like it's a great improvement and she has kept up just like applying moisturizer to her feet every day and filing them regularly so she's really loving the results and I know I have tried to to make her feet look better like I've given her pedicures and stuff before but the results um, from this are just way better than that ever was just using a plain foot file. So I just thought it would be nice to show you um, the step-by-step -step process if you happen to order it. So now that you see how it's done, um, I'll talk a little bit about my experience with it. It's about a two week process. So for two weeks, you're up to two weeks actually, you're going to see a lot of skin like peeling off your feet. So you're basically going to have lizard feet <laughs> um, for at least a week. Don't do this like the day before you go to some event and you've got to wear like strappy sandals <laughs> or something because it's not going to look pretty. So yeah, definitely know that you have at least a week or two to allow the dead skin to fall off your feet. You don't want to have like trails of, you know, dead foot skin all over your house. So um, yeah, definitely wear socks and wear closed toed shoes the entire process. And I think now that fall and winter are approaching, it's probably like the best time to use something like this because you're already going to be wearing socks anyway. I found it hard to do this during the summer just because I wanted to wear flip-flops and not have to be wearing hot socks and stuff like that. So I do think it's a good idea to maybe you know, do this in the winter or whatever, or maybe in spring before summer. So the only thing I wanted to warn you about is that it is a bit strong and my feet were a little bit sensitive 
to it and that's because of the acids in it. It's a chemical exfoliator basically and it's supposed to just totally dry your feet out so that they um, rejuvenate themselves and you know nice smooth baby soft feet are revealed. So maybe if you're like extremely sensitive to things like that you could check with your doctor or something first because even me like I have like a pretty high pain threshold and um, it just stung a little bit and it was a little bit bothersome for the top of my feet. So if your feet feel like extremely dry throughout the process, you're really not supposed to put lotion on the entire time. And by moisturizing your feet, you're kind of making the process take even longer. So I definitely recommend this. It helped my feet a little bit and it helped my mom's feet a lot. And I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.